Hi there, folks. My name is Jonathan Denwood, and I'm the founder of WP Tonic. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the best page website builders if you're looking to build a church website. I'll be going through all the options with you. I'll be back in a few moments, folks. I'm coming back. And like I say, in this video, we're going to be looking at the options if you're looking to build a church website. Um, the good news in 2022, you've got a lot of choices. The bad news is you've got a lot of choices. <laughs> so it's a bit of a contradiction. But do not fear in this video and also in a great article that I've written that lays out all the choices. You find the link to this article in the notes that support this video. Um, so let's get started. What are some of the main choices? So it's basically really split. Um, there's three choices. Um, you've got um, Pacific platforms that are designed for churches. Um, then you've got more generalistic platforms like Squarespace or Wix. And then you've got a hosted solution, which is WordPress. So they're the three basic choices. Now, with choice one or two, um, they are what is called SaaS-based um, solutions. You pay a, a monthly fee. Um, they provide functionality. Um, they provide templates. They provide the hosting. It's all in one bucket. The problem is that if you ever stop or you ever get fed up with them, you're a bit stuck. And also, if um, you want to do anything with the website that's outside the parameters of this fully hosted solution that they're selling to you, and this applies to Squarespace and Wix, you're a bit stuck. Um, they're not going to change their platform just for one client's requirements. With WordPress, you don't have those restraints. You also have an enormous library of themes um, that are aimed at churches. So you've probably got more flexibility about look and design. The other good thing about WordPress, if you want to add membership, membership uh, restricted areas, if you want to sell physical products, um, WordPress is going to be more flexible. Um, I say that with, um, with some of the fully focused church platforms and with Squarespace and Wix, you can also sell products on those type of platforms. But the flexibility that you're going to encounter is going to be more limited. With WordPress, you've got over 16,000 different plugins. You've got a whole um, very large community designed. There, anything in your imagination, there probably will be a plugin or a theme that will meet your requirements. Um, the problem with WordPress is you've got a few more loops to jump through. Um, you've, got to, you've got to download WordPress. WordPress. You, you've got to put it on a hosted account. There's just a, a few um, loops. There's um, providers like WP Tonic, and we specialize in church websites. We um, can help you get through those loops. So you, you get the benefits of WordPress without some of the more loops that you've got to jump through. Um, but the good news, that if you decide to go with a SaaS solution or if you go to WordPress, you've got a lot of choices out there. That is the good news. Um, apart from the Pacific, I've listed about four of the Pacific providers in the article. Um, the generalistic SaaS providers, the two leading, like I said, are Squarespace and Wix. Of the two, I probably would prefer Squarespace. 
Um, I say that I say that more um, based on prior experience, but I do know that Wix have improved their platform in the past year quite considerably. Um, I say that whatever platform, it really does also depend on your own experience and really you've got to try these different platforms. Most of them provide some um, level of free account or 14 days money back guarantee. Um, but if you can, it's best to try a couple of them out, you know, look at the different options, choose one or two, try them out. Um, that is a good idea because what one person finds really effective and easy to use, you might not like. Um, you really also have to do a bit of research. Just don't, if you see something, just don't dive into it. Do read up some of the restrictions. But um, one of the things that I wouldn't point out is that if you build a very large web church website, I would definitely look at WordPress. The more larger the website, the more your needs, you're probably going to be have a much more satisfactory outcome if you build it on WordPress. If you need any advice, like I say, um, just outreach to myself. You can book a free consultation with me on the WP Tonic website. Hopefully you found this useful. Like I say, there's a great article that goes into a lot more detail. Have a read of that. Like I say, you've got any questions, just contact us and I'll be more than happy to give you some free advice. I'll see you soon, folks. Bye.